Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over vertical rhythm in Compass. And if you're not familiar with vertical rhythm, I would suggest that you would go to this 24ways.org article from 2006 called Compose, uh, Compose to a Vertical Rhythm by Richard Rudder. It's a great article. It'll teach you a little bit about what we're going to be doing with Compass. Um, and after you read this article, you will have a greater appreciation for what Compass is actually doing for you. So to summarize, the vertical rhythm is the spacing and arrangement of text as the reader descends the page. It's contributed by three factors, font size, line height, and margin or padding. All of these factors must be calculated with care in order that the rhythm is maintained. The basic unit of vertical space is line height, establishing a suitable line height that can be applied to all text on the page, be it heading, copy, or side note, is key to solid, dependable vertical rhythm. Okay, so go ahead and just go read this article, come back, and then we're going to get working into Compass. Using the same source from the video, uh, the previous video with CodeKit, I just have uh, H1 and H2, and then an H2 in my main div, and then four paragraph texts and then two buttons and then an anchor within my paragraph. So to uh, get started here, I'm just going to delete this anchor color red here because it doesn't pertain to this particular example. So to get started, we're just going to have to declare two variables, one of which is the base font size. So to do that, we do dollar base font size and we're going to use 16 pixels. All right, and then we're going to have to include a base line height size, which is base line height, and that's going to be 24 pixels. And now we need to include a mixin that Compass has created called Establish Baseline. So if we check out what our CSS is doing, it's basically giving our font as 100% line height of 1.5m and our HTML body 16 pixels. So let's see what our uh, Chrome looks like after we refresh this. Okay. So now if we check out this text, we can see the font size 16 pixels and the line height it's been given. This is to give our document a more better flowing text. So we now have a vertical rhythm in our document. As you can see, the line height is adjusted accordingly. But let's say we want to send this paragraph, which is has a class of three. We want to have this text be larger, but we want it to maintain the vertical rhythm. Let's go down to our CSS and do our, our class three. So we're just going to do at include adjust font size two and we're going to give it a size. We want it to be, let's say it was 16 pixels before. We just want this to be 18 and that's it. We'll save this. Okay, so now what this is going to do is it's going to adjust the font size and the line height. If we go to our, S, if we go to our CSS, you can see it's not only given our font size an M value, but it's also given our line height a new M value. Let's go to our document and see what's changed. As you can see, we now have the newly adjusted paragraph text here. Let's make this a little bit more drastic to see the line height in action. So let's make this 28. Go back to our page. As you can see, it's larger and it's adjusted the line height to what the document's vertical rhythm is. As you can see, oh, don't save. Let's go back to the CSS. Yep. As you can see, it's now given our font size 1.75 m's and our line height is 1.714 m's. So let's knock this back down to 18 and let's say we want to add a leader onto our first paragraph, which is actually has a class of one. So we're just going to say add include leader and then we're just going to give it parentheses because there's no value here that we're passing it. However, we could pass it how many lines, the font size, or what property if we wanted to use margin or padding to accomplish this. But we're just going to use leader. And let's refresh our document. As you can see, let's go to our first paragraph. As you can see, there is a margin top of 1.5m instead of the normal just margin top of 1m. So as you can see, it's our leader that's adding to our top paragraph and it's giving just a little bit more space on the top that's going along with our page's vertical rhythm. And if we just wanted to have this be a margin leader, we could do 
margin leader instead, or padding it can be padding leader, uh, padding leader, or you could pass that as a variable within the function itself or the mixin itself. Well, let's say you wanted to add a trailer. That's easy too. Same thing. We can do on four. We can say at include trailer, and then we're not going to pass it anything. Save, and of course. As before, although there's nothing below it, so you know we'll just have to see it in expect inspect here. Um, you can see it's given it a margin bottom of 1.5 m's, and just like leader, you can add it by saying margin leader or or margin trailer or uh, padding trailer before it to do that in padding or margin. So let's say you wanted to add a border, but you wanted to maintain rhythm. You can do that with uh, this mixin called rhythm borders. We'll do that on the second paragraph and we can say include rhythm borders and now we're just going to have parentheses and we're going to hit save and refresh our page here and as you can see it's added borders and maintain the vertical rhythm in the page with the amount of space between the border and the amount of space afterwards. So let's say you wanted to make this border wider. Let's say you wanted to make it five pixels. We can make it five pixels. Check it out. It's five pixels. And if we wanted to change the border to be dashed, we could do a couple of things. But one thing, let's say you always wanted your borders to be dashed here. We could actually set that variable as default rhythm border style. And that's going to be equal to, we'll say, uh, dashed. Save this and go back to our site. As you can see, it's going to be dashed. So anytime we use this now, it's going to output a dashed border. Of course, uh, you could just specify the border in your anchor or in your paragraph as well. No big deal. But if you wanted to change all of them, you had a certain style, you can do that as well. Um, there's a whole host of things to be found on this uh, compass-style.org, and that's uh, for the vertical rhythm section, and it basically includes all of these different variables that you have access to, and all of these mixins that you can throw in your SCSS, so that if you ever get lost, you forget any of this stuff, just go to a compass style and uh, just check out those mixins. They're pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, you can always you know send us a comment, and we'll try to we'll try to specify a little bit more for you. So let's just add a trailing border to this trailer, and that's nice and easy. It's just one more. It's just include, and we're going to say trailing border, and then that's it. We'll save, check it out. Now there's a nice little trailing border at the bottom of our page. So this is a nice way to make your text look really nice uh, using minimal effort. I mean, we have, if I deleted this, it would be eight lines of code here. So if I were to turn off compression for this CSS file, you can see that it's written a ton of lines of CSS for us. It's done all this calculations for us, given these really uh, um, deep number values that we would have to do by hand. Uh, it's really just saving us a ton of time to establish this really nice vertical rhythm. And it really took all of a couple seconds to just type in, you know, set the base font size and set the baseline height and establish baseline. That's it. So this is vertical rhythm for compass. It seems a little bit daunting. So really it's just these three lines and then besides that these extra mixins and variables and you can just go to compass-style.org and look at their documents and see all of the mixins that they have but this is a good introduction and it pretty much covers what you need to know. Once again this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and if you have any questions or comments you know leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. You know we always want to hear from you let us know what you're thinking and thanks for watching. Bye.